All right, guys, I just got out of the gym and I wanted to chat with you guys about self-love. My own journey and experience with finding my confidence and finding who I am as a healthy and fit individual. Now, I don't know if this clip is going to go into my weekly vlog or if it's going to be a video all its own, but I'm just going to talk with you guys. During my workout today, I was just thinking and focused on how good I feel. And you guys, coming from a few years ago, when I worked out, I was focused on what I looked like. I was focused on what my body looked like, on whether or not you could see my cellulite, on whether or not you could see my stomach while I was squatting, or if I had rolls when I was sitting down. I was so focused on what I looked like. And that would dictate my day. And years prior to that, even, um, I was, my day was dictated by the scale and a number. I was reducing myself down to a number. And I'm just mind blown and heartbroken for who I was at that point, as well as anybody else that's still stuck in that awful cycle and that terrible prison of a mentality. So I was working out today and I, as of course there's mirrors all throughout the gym. And while I was doing my shrugs, <laughs> heavy barbell shrugs, I looked at myself and I thought, I look so awesome. <laughs> and I'm getting teary eyed about this because that thought is not coming from a place of arrogance and conceit, but that thought is coming from a place of peace with my body and truly loving and accepting myself for who I am. And this last year, now more than ever, I have learned that so much for myself. I'm not sorry about getting emotional about this because these last few years have been so life-changing for me and the biggest part of that you guys has been letting go of that obsession and of having people accept you because you're a certain weight or you're a certain body fat percentage or you have abs or you've competed or anything of that sort i've truly just accepted my body for what it looks like at every stage and that's so important to your happiness because by doing that, I've let go of that evil voice in my head that would keep me from going out to see friends or family, or it would keep me focused on food and what I look like over spending time with them during the holidays, or when my husband and I go out to eat and I freak out because I can't fit something into my intake or it's not on my diet, or I go the complete opposite direction and I binge until I'm physically sick. And being able to look at myself in the mirror while I was working out today and just appreciate my body for what it was. I didn't see the rolls that were coming over my weight belt. I didn't see, you know, the fact that my thighs are so thick. <laughs> or I didn't see the fact that I'm not crazy defined or I've got some extra chub around my face. And even if I did see it, I accepted it. And I loved it. And it's, it's just such a wonderful, wonderful piece. Just, I just want others to feel it so badly. And I try, and I try so hard to embody this with my coaching. Because you can change your physical body ten times over. You can lose fat, you can gain muscle, you know, you can be the strictest dieter, you can be dedicated and diligent and you can compete or you could, you know, hit some kind of goal. But sooner or later, that mentality is going to go back to exactly what it was before. And that could be in six months. It could be in 12 months. It could be in a couple years. But if you don't figure out how to accept your body for where it is and love and appreciate your body for the amazing thing that it is, 
you're never going to truly be happy with yourself. And finding that peace has been so amazing for me. And it was just, it was so, so cool to be able to go through my workout and focus on how I felt and focus on the weight I was lifting and, and the energy that I had and the fact that I deadlifted more volume than I've ever deadlifted before. Rather than when I filmed a set of my deadlifts, I could see the little bulge in my lower abdomen fat and it stuck out like a sore thumb. But I didn't see it as a negative thing. I just saw it as my body. And I focused on the weight and I focused on watching my form and how good the reps felt and how great my form was. You guys, self-love is not about finding out how to be conceited. It's not about posting a selfie on Instagram and feeling good about it and having other people, you know, commend you for how you look or your mentality. It's about those moments when you're in the gym and you're alone with your thoughts and you would have otherwise ripped yourself to pieces. You would have hated how everything looked, but instead you see your body for the beautiful thing that it is. And the fact that you're there and you're working and you're working towards some sort of goal, you're feeling good, you're making progress and you're trying. And that's what self-love is. And it's about accepting each stage. And I don't care if you have 70 pounds to lose or a hundred pounds to lose before your body can be physically healthy. I don't care if you have that. There's a complete difference between self-love and of just hating yourself to the core. I just wanted to share that with you guys today because like I said, I want so badly for, for every single one of you watching that video to be able to feel what I felt in the gym today and that confidence and that acceptance. And if any of you are struggling with this, and with that mentality, if you feel like you're stuck in that prison of your own thoughts, I highly encourage you to keep going and to keep focusing on your mental health over everything. Don't try and compete. Don't try and diet it off. Don't try and, you know, go to the, another quick fix program. Focus on what's in here and in here. And just let your body do what it needs to. If you're focusing on your mental health and you're adjusting your relationship with food and you're focusing on enjoying life more and treating your body well and fueling it as well as you can, not trying to be perfect and not being so negative on yourself. Guys, I, I can't tell you how much you will thank yourself in the future. And I am thanking myself each and every day for stepping back and focusing on my mental health. I love you guys. And I hope that you love yourself. And I hope that you appreciate your body for the amazing, amazing thing that it is. No matter what you're capable of, you're here. You're watching this video. You have that. <laughs> you have life. You're breathing. You're seeing. You're hearing. You're feeling. Guys, take advantage of that and enjoy life and enjoy your body and enjoy yourself and spread it with others. Thank you for watching this video. I know it ran on a little long, but I really, really love you guys. And I just hope that this message reaches somebody that needs it. I'll see y'all in the next video.